Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for day two of the Creative Arts Emmys. All right, come on in, you guys. Oh, I love the pins. Yes, yes. Is that good? World of Jane. World of Jane. And Nat Geo. You're, you guys are representing it all. This is fantastic. I always like to ask because, you know, we're here at the, at the sweet part where you get the recognition, but what were the biggest challenges for your work in Jane? Well, part of the problem, part of the solution for us was to provide the sound that wasn't there. And these guys uh, cut together and created the entire soundtrack because all of the archival footage was without sound. And so the, one of the biggest challenges was making it feel real and making it come alive. So editorially, especially this guy, here. Especially this guy yeah. who had to put it all together and then you know, we mixed it together and put the Philip Glass score in and uh, spent several months doing it. And that's the challenge too in making it feel authentic. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I spent probably two years you know, studying chimpanzees and you know, learning their vocalizations and you know, figuring out, okay, how do we cast the chimps? You know, how do we make them into characters and how do we bring them, um, you know, make them feel real and that we can connect to them as their, as their characters. And so, you know, when we're dealing with all this footage that has no sound to it, it takes a bit to, you know, understand their behavior, understand what it's like for Jane to be in Dombe without um, any resources and, you know, really bring that world that she was experiencing, like bring that to the audience. I want to know what's the most surprising sound you discovered from chimpanzees? Um, you know, I, I think that what was really surprising is that there's actually a difference but when they're trying to communicate. It, 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 it sounds really similar when they're um, angry at each other and when they're just trying to say, hey, I'm over here. And so learning those subtleties was you know, a really big challenge. And that was really surprising that for, to the lay ear, it sounds like you're hearing the same sounds over and over, but you, the more you work with it, the more you begin to understand the subtleties and the way that they communicate with each other. That's fantastic. Do you guys have a favorite moment that you just felt like was really well captured through sound? Uh, my, my favorite moment was the lion, uh, lion attack. That was something that I did. I have to say it's when they discover tool making and it's a combination of Jane speaking very emotionally about what is making the chimps like humans. They can make tools, they're manufacturing items in the, in the field and make, turning them into tools to create ways to eat, which has never been seen before. I mean, that was an exciting moment and a combination of all the sound and the music just was an incredible moment. In the moment. Um, I think it was the, the, the whole build up to when she actually got into uh, closer with the chimpanzees. Uh, until then, we created two worlds, a realistic and a very hostile world because it was not easy for her to go into the jungle as a young, young woman. And so we built that up to that final result uh, that she discovered that. And it was actually a very nice emotional journey and almost like an opera built up to that moment of discovery. How about for you? Um, probably the first time that Goliath, the alpha chimp, uh, freaks out on his uh, you know, co-chimpanzees and Jane is caught in the middle of it. And that was the first time that we really understand the threat that they can pose. I love that. Well, congratulations on the nomination and Thank wishing you. the best tonight. Thank you. You bet. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and in the comments below, let us know who you're rooting for this Emmy season.